Hey, sweet gang, it's your girl Rochelle in the building, and I'm coming to you with another video. Yes, I'm coming to you with the ice bucket chocolate apple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this great dessert, great for parties, and great for just your loved ones or someone that is asking for this decorative apple very popular apple and i am bringing it to you here on my channel and we're going to get started if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl is coming with another video and if you enjoy this video or have any other ideas for me leave it in the comment section below and i will definitely respond if you got some great ideas and we're going to get started for how to properly dip your chocolate apples, make sure you visit my other videos that I will definitely leave a link to. All right, so let's get started. Here I have some modeling chocolate. All right, my kabuki brush, my YSC scraper, a balling tool. This is a pen blade for cutting, just in case I need it. And I also have a piping tip. This is just a regular circle piping tip. It's fairly large. This is a Teco 807. And I have another small tip. This is a Wilton's 199. But if you find another tip and just with a circle um, around it, that will help as well. All right. I'm going to move these to the side. Also, we have our rock candy. And I have some lemon extract. And I have some gold edible dust. And I will leave the links for all supplies in the description box below. All right. So, getting started. You want to have your already dipped apple. Which you see here, I have already started to create this beauty. All right. So once you do and you're ready to dip, check out my video. Y'all will see it. All right. So this is already chocolate, already dipped in chocolate. And we're going to get started. Taking a piece of modeling chocolate. Um, modeling chocolate really helps with creating this particular design um, is very tasteful, so you don't have to worry about if it tastes um, nasty, but it is it tastes great. So what you want to do is roll out a piece. Modeling chocolate can be hard, so you want to take the modeling chocolate with the warmth of your hands, roll it, place it on your surface, and begin to roll it back and forth. Just taking your hands and rolling it back and forth, okay? And rolling it, starting in the center and working your way out, okay? In the center and just work your way out. You want to have it all even. Sometimes I like to take my finger and just go back and forth so it just depends on how thick you want it okay and if you need to start over just bring it together okay so it's very flexible and i'm going to just start that over rolling it in my hand okay working it out so what you're going to do find what find which Part of the apple is going to be your front and just take this rope and rope it around wrap it around your apple but remember whatever is going to connect is going to be the back okay just going to start this over because i want it to be a little thicker Okay, so this is going to be my front, and 
then I'm just going to bring that around. And then you just start to shape it up. And once you shape it up, you are just going to start to mold it. It's going to mold straight to the apple. All right. You want to kind to bring it out a little bit so that it can line up with your apple and not closed in too much. All right. So after you have done that, you're ready to make the handles not per se the handles but the little circles to go around the ice, ice bucket okay so you're gonna need a rolling pin definitely for this um roll you out a small piece flatten it out okay or you can take your rolling pin and roll it out you just need to do a small piece taking my tip and you want to cut out two of these all right with this end of the tip move the extra okay then taking your smaller tip and just cut out the center okay then I'm gonna use my scraper to pick up the piece make sure it's, good. it's neat okay and I'm just gonna take this ball and tool just to clean up those edges okay and it still it has some moisture to it so you don't have to apply no extra chocolate or anything and just line it up on the side of your apple as so I'm going to use my balling tool just to stretch it out. And line it up. Okay. Taking a scraper, getting it up. But you don't want to lose its shape. Taking a balling tool. Clearing up those ridges. If you have a straight piping tip, just a straight circle pipe with piping tip, you know, that'll have help as well. So just lining it up. I think I need to bring this up to the front. Right there. If that happens, just be careful and just shape it right back to right back to this shape. So what I'm doing is just reforming my top because it looked a little lopsided. Okay, so now taking my extra fondant here. I'm 
I'm going to roll it out. Scoop this back as thin as you can get it, okay? And just depending on what size you want your handle to be. Like with this one, it's thin, okay? So I wanted a thin handle and you just roll it out starting from the center and just roll it back and forth. It stretches so you don't have to worry about um, it breaking apart. And if it does, just start over, okay? Cutting off those extra pieces. So now I'm going to line up my handle, placing my handle there and need to cut off just a little bit extra. Taking my balling tool, just making sure it sticks in there. Okay, with this particular apple, I'm gonna color the whole thing, okay? And that's how you create your ice bucket. All right. So you definitely, when you get ready to color with the gold, you don't want to get the gold onto your silicone mat. So have some parchment paper or some type of board or cake board, whichever one, um, before you get ready to color it. So I'm going to add some gold dust. Just separating it. And adding some lemon extract. Okay. Now you don't want it to be too liquidy. You want it to be just a little bit thick. All right. use a popsicle stick just to mix this add a little bit more gold so before you add your rocks you definitely want to color it first okay and this is a wet coloring and you also can do like a dry brush um, if you like. So taking your kabuki brush. Okay. And then just begin to color the whole thing. You just color it all the way around. Like I said, you can do a dry brushing. That will help. If you don't want to do the lemon extract. If you don't use lemon extract, you can use vodka. Um, Everclear is vodka. So a lot of people use that. But for this gold coloring, I will put it in the description box below. And you have to do a couple of coats to get a full coverage. And just keep covering, covering until it's fully covered. Real simple and easy to do, fun to do. Great activity for 
uh, a kids group as well okay so once you have it co covered you can also let it sit to dry then to add your rocks you can add some chocolate right along the top of your apple and then begin to apply your rocks you can put edible images on them you know whatever detail you want to add extra but just simple just like that Now for these to stick, I would use either some chocolate or some clear piping gel. These are clear rock candy. This is just simply broken up clear rock candy. And there you have your ice bucket apple. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, you guys give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely be back. And again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, turn it on and you'll know when I come up with the next video. All right, it's your girl Robot the Goat and I'll see you in the next video.